वेलकम फ्रेंड्स सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू एड ए फिल्टर ऑन द रिपोर्ट इफ यू वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी फिल्टर इन अवर रिपोर्ट सो इन दिस केस वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी कैन अप्लाई द फिल्टर सेटिंग ऑन द डेटा सेट एज वेल एज इन द डेटा पार्ट आई मीन टू से ऑन द टेबलिक्स to understand this functionality we have the data we have an inventory data like this uh, in in the inventory inventory section there is a lot of product which are coming and going from the inventory store so in this case if we want to create a report field for this data like this and uh, we want to filter out the data in our report so we are using a data set like inventory ds inventory and we are using embedded data set feature in my report and we have already a data connection to my database now we are just paste that copy and we can see the field fields which are which are coming from the data so we are going to add this data to understand this query we can do this query in a very simple manner select star from and we are going to put this query as a name we are using typed table here a b c where more equal to in f5 now you can see that we have all the stuff incoming materials to our inventory same thing we can do for out okay so it is very easy to apply any filter condition on on the query in the sql server but this thing it is is more complicated when we are going to apply this filter in our report in this case now we are going to add a table to our report now here we want to add a data set uh, insert a row above and merge this row as a uh, merge this column incoming coming item details now we are just set the property uh, data set name for this report is ds inventory now what we are going to do here we have the inventory date and we have product and quantity okay and more also now we are going to execute this report here now you can see we have all the items so in this search, in this case we want to pull only incoming report data or uh, incoming items for so this what we are going to do in the detail section of the table we are just going into the tablix property in the tablix property we have the filter section and we are going to add a filter or mode and because we are using in so we are just putting in okay now what we did here we have uh, apply a filter on our report so it is very easy uh, to apply any filter on the report it is recommended for the better use to use sql server based filter on the report at 
it is very easy to apply any filter on the report so if we want to add a new filter on the report we can use the same data set on our report also uh, for example in this uh, section we have filter or we are showing only incoming data on, in our report so if we want to show outgoing data on our report so we can do that also uh, we can do that also for this what we need to do here we need to add a new report uh, or sorry we need to add a new tablix in our report like this we have a tablix and we are adding a new header with this tablix also and and what we are going to do here we are going to show here outgoing outgoing items details for this we need to do the same functionality here in this section in the data set of this tablet we are using this inventory and in this inventory we are showing inventory date product quantity and more so what we need to do here we need to add a new filter here in the tablet property in the filter section we are adding a filter because on the above section we are using incoming mode so in this section we are going to out mode for the report and click on ok button after preview of the report you can see here that we have incoming items and separately we are showing outgoing items on the report also so uh, what we are going to do here we are using filter condition on the of the report and the interesting thing is that we are using the same data set for the both tables so it is very easy to apply a data filter on the report in this uh, session you have seen that we are using for our report and using two filters on the tables in the in one filter what we are going to do we are going to filter our data based on the condition if our model is in, in that means report will so the data where mode equal to in in the other section you, we have seen that we are showing the filter condition where mode equal to out so in this case uh, we have a common data set for this data and we are using two different tables and which are using the same data set so if we are using a small amount of the data on the report that it is comfortable to use this feature in SSRS but if you are going to use this functionality or this filter on a large amount of the data means if we have a data more than 10,000 or 20,000 then it should be recommended use filter parameter and use this filter into the data set so in this session we have seen that how to use a filter uh, condition on our report same thing if we want to apply this thing into the data set level 
now you can see that uh, we need to pass out like this mod equal to in then it is showing only incoming data there is no data for the outgoing material so if you want to use the filter on the data set it is filter out your all data and if we are filter our data on the report level that means data would be persistent in the data set and we can use the data set in another section of the report so hopefully this video is very helpful to us to understand how to use the filter on the tablets or on the matrix as well so it please subscribe my channel on youtube and like us on youtube also thank you for watching us